come in. But maybe the chief reason Eleanor would have been excited, my dad said, is that this is the first best chance to recover something of the spirit of her husband's presidency. Uh, the vision, the New Deal, the sense that the working person has a true ally in the White House. I feel that FDR and Barack Obama share a strength, a level-headedness, an intellect, a deep and practiced caring and commitment, a style of leadership that can work and unify and bring America together again. In tough times, we need a steady hand. We need a leader with this kind of vision. We need Barack Obama. I want to return to one line from what I opened with uh, in the 1933 address, where he says, in every dark hour of our national life, a leadership of frankness and vigor has emerged. And we've been lucky enough to recognize those dark times and to give our support to a candidate who can lead us through those dark times. And FDR says, I'm convinced that you will again give that support to leadership in these critical days. As a rabbi concerned with Judaism's timeless values around social justice, as a Jew concerned uh, with Israel's security in the short term and the long term, as a great grandson who in his generation has never seen a leader with the capacity to unite and inspire uh, in the way that, that, that he heard, that I heard uh, uh, my great grandfather did. As an American, excited to be an American again for all of these reasons, uh, I'm a Barack Obama supporter. And I want to close with this poem. Uh, my father remembers a poem by Henry Wadsworth, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow that he associates with his grandfather hung in FDR's uh, study. And uh, it was very, it's been very meaningful to my father. The poem reads, Sail on, O ship of state. Sail on, O union strong and great. Humanity with all its fears, with all the hopes for future years, hangs breathlessly on thy fate. Thank you. Okay.